No, I don't think the church did know what was going on. I don't believe there has been a cover-up nor collusion. But nonetheless, there were 11 people, at least, yes. who did carry out abuse yes. in the Diocese of Chichester. Now, at the very least, that shows that there was a culture that allowed that to happen. Yes, I think we have to concede that that, that it happened. Um, that culture, I believe, has changed very considerably uh, since, at least since the uh, earliest days of this. Um, so we're not we're not in the same place we were, but we concede that things were wrong, that responses when people came forward were inadequate, um, and we believe that that is now significantly better. But the concern is that Peter Ball and Vickery House did know each other. They lived in the same house. Three men, they abused on separate occasions. So there, there was crossover at, at the very least there. There yes. is the concern, therefore, that the culture that he developed, the people that followed him, the whole feeling around the church, allowed people who were abusers to get away with it. I don't think we were aware of uh, the misbehaviour on Peter Paul's part uh, and his criminal activity at the time. I don't believe uh, that was... Do you think the church couldn't believe that? No, I think we, a we actually did not receive complaints and did not know about but Complaints that. were made in 1992. In 1992, complaints were made and, and uh, that was handled by the Gloucester Police. But we now acknowledge the fact that it could have been handled differently and there was enough evidence to have brought a prosecution at that time. That, uh, that much the police have conceded. So the church yeah, did know that there was an issue? And the, and the church did bring that issue, you know, that issue was uh, um, dealt with by the police and the church together. If there is anything to be learnt about the way that the church handled such information as it possessed in 1992-93, um, that will be um, the, the, the subject of the Archbishop of Canterbury's review. Because I think the point that I'm trying to get at is that George Bell, who was a revered figure within the church, mm -hmm. it's now acknowledged carried out abuse. Peter Ball, who was a revered figure within the church, carried out abuse. They were senior figures within the clergy in Sussex. Did their positions allow them to have an atmosphere whereby other abusers were able to come to the church and whether it was a, a deliberate policy or whether it was simply by turning a blind eye those other abusers were allowed to carry on. I've got no evidence that uh, any of the bishops has knowingly allowed other people to abuse. Clearly we have to acknowledge that uh, Bishop Peter Ball uh, committed criminal offences um, and that's a, so, a source of uh, profound, profound regret, it's a, it's a source of uh, shame to us um, and those who do abuse other people uh, cause not only enormous distress to their victims uh, but also uh, to those who are betrayed uh, by them, to the trust that is knocked in other people. A twelfth man is about to, to stand trial. Are there any other names that you're aware of that there could be further revelations in the future? Is this it? Have we reached the point now where there are no more names out there or are there other people that you're concerned about, that you know about, that allegations may come forward in the future? One can never afford to be complacent. It doesn't matter how... Uh, strong, how robust your safeguarding processes, you can never be satisfied with them. Um, and so they, they must be ready to, um, to catch uh, whatever comes up in the future. But are there any names that you know of at the moment that you're concerned about? People in the past, they may be dead now, but there, are there other cases lying on file that are going to come into the public domain in the future? I couldn't answer questions about things which relate to any ongoing uh, police investigations. But are there other cases that you know of that are not subject to a police investigation, allegations that have been made in the past that haven't been brought into the public domain yet? I'm not aware of any. So there won't be any further names coming up in the future that are already known of to the church? I'm not aware of any. Bishop, thank you very much. You're welcome.